It's time. I'm looking at all the comments, guys. Nobody guessed the Hobbit. The Hobbit Feast. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Hobbit Feast ever. Don't blink. Shout out to Michael Cole for suggesting me this. It's finally happening. Start off like this, three whole chicken. I got half a cup of olive oil here. I'm gonna do some obe. Just give it a good healthy dose, guys. Not so much, not so little, just a good healthy dose. A salt on three. A tablespoon of pepper on three. Let's go. A tablespoon on three. One tablespoon of ground thyme on three. A tablespoon of white pepper on three. A tablespoon of ground cumin on three. A tablespoon of oregano on three. A tablespoon of chili powder on three. Tablespoon of ground mustard on three. Tablespoon of garlic powder on three. And we got three lemons. Squeeze on three. Use two hands to squeeze, come on. Wasting time here, we can't waste any time. Do it now, take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Rub that in with the chicken. Rub it in, in every single crack, guys. Don't miss any crack, all right? If you guys miss any crack, it's gonna be bland. It's gonna be very bland. <laughs> all right, massage that in in the neck, in the cavity, on the ass. <laughs> Don't miss the ass, guys. That's the best part. Got this nice and rubbed in. Oven's preheated at 420. Are we gonna do second rack, guys? Second to the lowest, or second from the bottom? We gotta take our chicken. We're gonna dump it in. Throw them into the oven, guys, and we're gonna bake this for about one hour. Take you guys over at this station here. Guys, I prepped this all last night just because I didn't want to do it today. So I got some squash, which I'm just gonna dump onto my tray here. Chop onions here. I'm just gonna place there. I got some beets here. Who loves beets? I love beets. Kids, eat your beets. If your parents give you beets, you eat your beets. <laughs> Next root vegetable, I got sweet yams here. I'm just gonna throw it to the side. Sometimes I watch people cook, guys. Like, just imagine them cooking this, and this is all they season with. So. They just do this. All you gotta do is season with some olive oil and some salt. Like literally this much. And just a bit of pepper. And that's it, guys. <laughs> I hate seeing that. <laughs> I think that's like the worst seasoning you can possibly ever do to your vegetables. Guys, I know vegetables naturally is delicious already when you cook it because it just comes nice and sweet. But hey, to each their own, but I just hate seeing that happen to these beautiful vegetable guys. Just gotta live it up a bit. Let's live it up a bit. So I got some olive oil here. Good dose of salt. Good dose of pepper. All over, guys. All over. I'm gonna toss this in for a minute. For my sweet yams, I wanna do a golden brown crust on it. So I got some butter here. I got half a cup of brown sugar. Garlic powder on each. I'm gonna take some ground ginger. sweet potato. And then for the rest of everything, I got some dry oregano here, some dry thyme, some dry basil. Then into the oven at 420 for an hour as well. Next, salmon filet. So I got one whole big salmon here, an olive oil already, a low key olive oil off camera guys, sorry. I go one tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of pepper, all over guys, all over. Front and back, guys. front and back, always front and back. There's enough salt on this already. Just gonna wanna sprinkle some ginger powder on. Dijon whole grain mustard. I'm gonna do a teaspoon on each. Spread it out. Lastly, get out that Canadian stuff right here. That good old maple syrup. I feel like um, Buddy right now. You guys know Buddy? Buddy's my homie from Elf, <laughs> where he just starts making breakfast for his family and he just throws maple syrup and all that sweetness on top. There it is, just a nice glaze. Rub it in. We're just gonna let this marinate for one hour before we start baking it. Next, I'm gonna do some roasted potatoes. So I got eight potatoes chopped up here into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. It's gotta get in. Next, potato soup. So I got three tablespoons of butter here, half a cup of chopped onion. Then I got a cup of ground celery. Or not ground celery, just chopped celery. Once I got my veggies nice and cooked, I got one liter of chicken stock here, which I'm just gonna dump in. Three tablespoons of flour dissolve into some water here. Now I'm gonna take my hand blender. Blend all the celery and onion in. I got three cups of chopped potatoes here. 
Then we let this boil up for 30 minutes or until the potato gets cooked. Then we just add in our milk in the end. So I got my potatoes to cook. I'm gonna throw in one cup of heavy whipping cream here. My last touches to this, taste for seasoning. If it needs more salt, add more salt, add more pepper. Taste and adjust for your liking. Potatoes going out. Throw onto our baking sheet. To season this, I got some olive oil, some good old bay, some salt, some pepper, and that good old paprika. Let this chicken rest for 20 minutes minimum, guys. Pull out my roasted veg too. Let this rest. Next, guys, take our fish, our marinated beautiful fish. Toss it in at 420 as well. And our roasted potatoes as well for about 15 to 25 minutes. Start setting all this up, guys. We got a lot of food. So we got our chicken here. Got our beets. Got our squash here. Almost drop you guys. I'll never drop you guys ever again, I promise. <laughs> the other side, I got the roasted red onions. The candy yams. Next, we gotta plate that beautiful salmon of ours. My roasted potatoes. Got my plate. Also got some corn here too. So I'm just throw down. Roasted asparagus too, which I'm just gonna put under my chicken here. Roasted artichoke. I'm just gonna put by my salmon. Potato soup here. Which we're just gonna throw on the side. Toasted bread here. Lastly here, just bust out the pie I made, low key in the back. <laughs> Thank you guys, I know, I know guys. Thank you, I know. I am an awesome baker. <laughs> right there. I Google the picture, the Hobbit feast, and it had apples all around too. Oh. And some cherry tomatoes as well. Here, cherry tomato here. Got some limes and lemons. On that side here. Mix on the salmon. Just a little dill on each. Lastly, check out these spoons I got, guys. Pretty neat, eh? <laughs> so I'm gonna do one spoon here for the soup. I'm not even sure what this spoon's for. Here. The spoon is over here. Why not? Look at this spoon, guys. It's a wooden handle here. Or it is wood, actually, but what is this called? A bark handle. That is so neat. One right here. Check out this cool bucket, right? <laughs> the only wine I have in the house is this. Shout out to the Italians. It's called Cremovo. So this is what I use for the, what is that? Cannolis. So it's just low-key pretend this is beer. You know what? It's wine. I'm just gonna put it there just for decoration. There it is, guys. This is your ultimate Hobbit feast. 
when are you guys gonna come by? Take five of your friends that can finish this, including you. I bet you guys can't finish this. No way, guys. There's just too much food for only five people. Time to jump into it, guys. My family's coming over in an hour here. So I'm gonna eat first because the food is already cold and I'm hungry. <laughs> so, look at that chicken. A little asparagus. Let's grab with my hand, guys. Relax, okay? My hands are clean. <laughs> Go into this pile here. I have a fork here. Got this beautiful spoon. I know, here's a fact, guys. I know you and your five friends can't finish this on their own. I know, for a fact. <laughs> Some beets. Some yams, some roasted potato, a piece of bread. Family's coming by in an hour here. Guys, we gotta eat first. Quick time, guys. I'm hungry. Nice. The potato soup. I'm pumped for this. Mm, 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 mm. Still warm and delicious. Wow. Get in on that bread. I wish my arm was a little longer, just to show you guys the beauty of this food here. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's awesome. Mmm. I microwave this. Just gotta wait for this to cool down before we start biting into it. That's awesome. I'm calling out any competitive eater. Tag your favorite competitive eater to this video here. I want to see how crazy they are. Can they finish this? <laughs> I'll cook the big fuse and they're the big eater here. Alright, chicken might be a little hot because you know what? The microwave always overdo it. But here, quick time guys. Let's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Yeah. The microwave always overdo the heat here. Or it's my fault. <laughs> it's not the microwave fault. It's my fault for not taking it out early. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. Here's my pork. Mm. Mm. The veggies are nice, simple, nicely seasoned. You can still taste the vegetables, not over the season. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect. Mm. salmon or my reheated salmon over there. I think that'll be a fun video guys. Your favorite competitive eater? Take on one of these feasts I make. <laughs> Mmm, mm. it's nice and sweet.
What a blessing. Such a blessing, guys. I gotta heat this up, guys. Haters will say I didn't bake it. Mmm. <laughs> The best bite is always the first bite. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's about half of this. See, this is what I hate, guys. I hate how the camera's so far, so you guys can't really see the beauty of the salmon here. I want to bring it up to you guys. Give me a second. See how delicious, well cooked that is? Guys, here. With my hand. Quick time, guys. Just because I'm up here already. I just got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Wow. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly seasoned. The mustard green and the maple syrup. Perfect combination. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This salmon is a blessing. Mm hmm. Yeah, another piece of that. <laughs> there it is. Bless up. This truly is a blessing. Such a blessing. All right, dessert time. Some good old apple pie. Some warm apple pie. Well, kind of warm. I'm gonna microwave this a bit more. Cause I want it nice and warm. Cause I got some ice cream too. Look at that. Didn't I do a good job? <laughs> just kidding. I just got it heated up. I got a scoop of ice cream here. Perfect. Let's get into this, guys. What are you doing? Huh? What is my kitty doing? Huh, kitty? Huh? <laughs> you ready for dessert? Huh? You ready for dessert? You always been ready? You little brat. Up and close. We got some of our ice cream. Some of that apple pie and the crumbly on top. I ain't gonna lie guys, Costco makes the best apple pie ever. Quick time guys, if I could marry Costco, I would. <laughs> guys got it, nice, I'm pumped for this. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the perfect combo. Mm -hmm. Warm apple pie and cold vanilla ice cream. Mm. I really like this crusty, what is it? 
What is this called? I don't know what it's called, the crust on top. Mm. This is heaven. Yep. This, my friend, is heaven. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is perfect. I think I found my new favorite dessert, guys. Apple pie and that crumbly crust on top with vanilla ice cream. That is amazing. Mm hmm. Yep. What a beautiful way to end off this day with some warm apple pie. Oh man. I will low key lick this plate off camera. <laughs> Princess Kitty. Princess Kitty. There it is, Kitty. Try it out, you little brat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yummy. <laughs> Push your face back, kitty. Okay. You can eat on your own, kitty. I don't have to feed you every time. You can eat on your own. Yeah. Hey, was that yummy? Was that yummy, kitty? Food and life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food and life's beautiful thing shirts or a pot one. Like, share this. Peace out.